Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa here. Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to share with you two ways in which you can use aloe vera oil for massive hair growth. Now, before we dive into it, I just want to take a little moment just to acknowledge you guys. Thank you so much if you're a returning subscriber. I really appreciate you guys watching my videos, liking, sharing, commenting, and all of that. So, thank you so much. If it's your first time here, I'm Vanessa. I make natural hair videos, including DIYs, to help us grow strong, healthy, and long natural hair. So if this kind of content interests you, be sure to click the subscribe button and join the family. So let's hop right into the video. I am using quite a big, a big aloe vera leaf here. I don't actually know if it's a leaf or a plant, guys. Let me know in the comment section. I know someone probably corrected me in the past because that's just how much i use aloe vera but i can't remember whether the person said it was a leaf or a plant but i'm using quite a big one here and i'm not going to use all of it so i'll cut it in the middle and then you know keep the rest of it now if you have a plant just like me you're not going to use all of it that's fine just put clean film on the part that you've cut and then pop it in your fridge and that can stay there for quite a long time without you know getting damaged or anything so the part that i'm going to use now i cut it into smaller pieces and i'm just soaking it here for about 10 to 15 minutes just to remove you know all the impurities from the aloe vera and also to reduce skin irritation because sometimes when you're applying it to your hair you know, it kind of touches your neck you know and sometimes your shoulders and that can be very itchy so yeah this just helps reduce you know the amount of irritation that you get now after i've done that guys i am now you know cutting the sharp edges away and then i'm going to part it in the middle so that it's easier for me to scoop the gel out now to do this i'm using a spoon and I'm just kind of scraping, you know, the aloe vera flesh out. This is where the gel of the aloe vera is contained. Now, you probably have seen me do this on this channel for so long now, and you're probably bored of watching me doing this, to be honest. So skip this part if you don't want to see it. And uh, that's absolutely fine. So yeah, just, you know, scoop the gel into a bowl. Now, aloe vera has amazing hair growth properties because it contains vitamin A, C, and E. And these vitamins are known to contribute to cell turnover. It also contains vitamin B12 and folic acid that are known in actually promoting health, hair grow, growth and shiny hair. So yeah, really great, uh, amazing benefits. Now, if you're not allergic to aloe vera, I'll definitely suggest that you consider using that into your hair regimen, unless maybe, like I said, you're allergic to it. I've used it for so long now, and I'm definitely with the, with the benefits, and my hair has never shown any adverse reaction to it, so that's good. So after you've done that, guys, transfer everything in a bowl. We're now going to go ahead and blend this. Now, the reason why I want to blend it is just so that it's easier to extract the juice. I was actually aiming to get a juice out of this but i ended up getting <laughs> a gel uh, i find that some aloe vera actually when you blend it it liquefies quicker and easily compared to others now this probably would have liquefied if i let it sit for a long time um but i was i just wanted to use it there and then but anyway so go ahead and strain it now it's important that you do this so you don't end up with you know any aloe vera flakes in your hair pretty much so yeah so i'm using a sieve here and i'm just going to let that sit you know and allow the aloe vera gel in this instance which was supposed to be a juice but hey yeah i'm just going to allow that to just you know drain into the bowl naturally you can actually use a tea towel or perhaps a cheesecloth or anything that you've got to strain it if you want to to make the process a bit quicker um but I didn't have one, so I just started to use this one. Now I'm gonna go in with my Emerson powder. Now Emerson powder is actually known to help promote healthy hair growth as well because it increases the length of time that our hair stays in its anagen phase, which is basically the hair growth phase, the or no, no, the growing phase of the hair cycle. So stir that in nicely, and then we're now going to transfer that to our spray bottle and we're ready to use it. Can you see how that's looking really jelly-like? <laughs> you know, it's still pretty jelly. It's not watery. Um, yeah, let me know if you know why some aloe vera gives you gel like this when you blend it, and then others just gives you liquid. I don't really know why. Um, there is that difference, but I find that over the years using aloe vera, there has been lots of variations, you know, 
uh, depending on the plant that I get. So yeah, pop the lid on and then we're ready to use that as our leave-in conditioner. Now the second way that I use aloe vera as hair growth is actually um, as an aloe vera hair growth oil. Now this is very easy, really straightforward to make. Some of you guys actually requested that I make an aloe vera oil recipe in the comment section of some of my videos. Um, thank you so much by the way if you're leaving me comments. I really appreciate it. Like, you know, you're just amazing. Um, yeah, so I already have an aloe vera oil recipe on my channel actually, funnily enough. But I don't think I've titled it aloe vera oil. So that's probably why some of you guys haven't come across it. Uh, and also it was it's quite an, an old video as well anyways. I um, think I made it maybe sometime in the summer, which was quite a few months ago. So yeah, I just thought I would make another out of a, um, oil recipe just to show you basically, you know, how to make it. It's very easy, simple and straightforward. So you would need aloe vera again. I'm using just a small piece of the aloe vera that I have here and then chop it into really small pieces. Now, the smaller they are, the quicker your oil will get done. So it's just, yeah, it's just so much easier. Now I'm using the skin that I had from the last DIY that you guys just watched when I was making the leave-in conditioner. Now, if this is the case for you guys, don't throw your skins away. You can still use that to make your oils because they still have amazing you know um benefits uh it's got some great nutrients in it vitamins still that you can benefit from so i'm going to cut that now into smaller pieces again and then i'm going to you know combine that with the aloe vera um gel that i just cut in the other one <laughs> not the aloe vera gel i'm sorry <laughs> Oh God, doing this voiceover is really not easy. But hey, you cannot get what I'm trying to say. Um, so yeah, combine that together and then we are ready to add our next ingredient. So you will need some type of oil um, to, you know, do your, to get your aloe oil pretty much. Now I will be using some olive oil. Olive oil is just great for hair as well, guys. Adds amazing shine to your hair. Also rich in vitamin E which is also great for hair um, cell turnover which is just yeah really amazing so i'm using half a cup of olive oil here but if you don't have olive oil it's fine you can use any other oil of your choice it could be rapeseed oil almond oil like any other oil that you've got okay so just use half or more a cup depending on how much you want to make now i'm going to go in with my coconut oil now coconut oil is also great for hair growth because it's easily absorbed by the hair shaft and it's really great and nourishing you know our follicles and all of that and it's got some amazing goodness in it so i'm adding about a tablespoon of that here but again guys like i said these quantities could be altered depending on basically what you have and you know how much of what you have as well so don't you know focus so much on what i'm the quantities that i'm using so mix all that in and then you're now going to place the bowl in a pot with some hot water in it and allow this to boil over a certain number of minutes it shouldn't take too long for this to get done um given that you've cut your aloe vera really small so you can see how the aloe vera is looking bright green now you know this is done when it's turned dark green so just like this that's how you know it's ready to be taken off the fire now i see some people actually fry this like they put it directly in the pan on the fire i wouldn't suggest you do it that way because it's very easy to oxidize some of the nutrients in the oil so it's better that you just you know do the double boiler method because it's just you retain all of the nutrients and i also forgot to say guys if you're using olive oil use extra virgin olive oil because it still has all of its nutrients in it so after you finish doing that guys take it off the fire and allow it to cool down for a little bit i was a bit impatient here um so i did not really let it cool down you know fully because i just wanted to you know use it as quickly as i could but I'll suggest that you let this cool properly because of the next step, pretty much. Um, so yeah, after done that, just again, put your sieve on top of a bowl and pour everything in it so that you know the oil can drain into the bowl. But again, you can do this using a tea towel or um, 
a cheesecloth like anything that you've got i was just testing the oil here just to make sure that it wasn't too hot it was still a little warm but it wasn't hot 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 um so that's actually pretty good now the reason why you want to allow this to cool down is just because of your essential oils um so i'm using tea tree essential oil and yeah tea tree essential oil is just really great for hair guys because it suits an itchy scalp it reduces dandruff and flaking and we all know that you know a healthy scalp just means great environment for hair to grow from and it also improves the blood flow and allows you know nutrients to reach the hair follicles easily it balances the ph of uh, of your scalp and all of that so really great and next i'm going to add in some peppermint essential oil and peppermint essential oil also help you know in hair growth because it improves the circulation around the scalp area so that's really great so mix all that together and then i'm transferring this to a little container where i'm going to store the oil now i'm going to show you how you can apply this to your hair it's very simple easy and straightforward um, so you will need obviously what we just made now and a white tooth comb to detangle now if you um, Normally finger detangle your hair then don't worry about the white tooth comb But if you comb it out use a detangling brush or a white tooth comb just so you don't end up You know snapping your ends. I mean the strands of your hair pretty much So I'm starting here on wash condition a little dry hair um, so yeah, that's pretty much like a moisturizing kind of routine i like to work on my hair in sections just because it's so much easier for me to manage it and i'm less likely to get any tangles or knots or break or breaks you know uh, in my strands so i'll suggest that if you're working on your hair you always work in sections it's so much easier now after i piled a small section of hair that i'm going to work with guys i'm now going to go ahead and spray that with the uh, conditioner that we made earlier Okay guys, so you can see the hair that is actually not working. I'm trying to spray that on my hair, but it wasn't really coming out. I guess perhaps because I had a gel, like I said before. So really thick in consistency. So that's why it wasn't, you know, coming out of the, um, what's it called? Like the thing of the spray bottle. So I just decided to transfer this into a little container and that's where I'm going to be taking it from. So if this happens to you, that's fine. Just transfer it in a container, just like I'm doing here and just use your hands to apply it to your hair. It will does the exact same job. So don't worry about it. So I'm just applying that to my hair guys, massaging that to my scalp. Now it's important that, you know, if you're doing any type of treatment, especially if you're, you know, uh, deep conditioning with natural ingredients, it's better that you apply it to your scalp because that's where our hair grows from. And, you know, um, you're more likely to get the benefits from it that way. So massage that to your scalp nicely. And also don't forget your ends because it's the driest and the oldest part of your hair. So after I did that, guys, I'm now using my oil just to seal the moisture in my hair. Again, not forgetting my ends. Now, I know you might be wondering about scalp buildup. The great thing about aloe vera is that it doesn't really give you that much buildup, if that makes sense, compared to like your traditional leave-in conditioners or butters that, you know, are available. So it's pretty light on the hair, yet really moisturizing and really nourishing uh, for our hair. So don't worry about the buildup, just apply it to your scalp. So after I did that, I'm just gonna go ahead and detangle the hair really gently. I know it seems like I'm doing it really rough here, but trust me, I'm not. It's because I'm forwarding the, the video so that you know it doesn't end up too long. So after you've done that, just go ahead. So after you've done that, guys, just go ahead and twist it and then move on to the next section and repeat until your hair is completely done. So it's really that nice and simple.
I know some of you guys will probably wonder what the shelf life of this is. In all honesty, when, whenever I have to make aloe vera leave-in conditioner, I try to make exactly what I would need. I know it's a little bit difficult to know exactly how much you will need, but you can certainly just gauge it based on the amount of hair that you have and also how long your hair is. So I usually just make roughly what I'm going to need. But if it, if it ends up that you have some leftover, that's fine just pop it in the fridge for about two weeks now some can actually store for longer than two weeks just depend on the the temperature of your fridge for the oil is actually pretty good it can store for more than a month without any preservative in it so um you're absolutely fine so don't worry if you end up making more um so at this point i was completely done guys this is what my hair looks like nice moisturized shiny um yeah and it was actually pretty moisturized for quite a few days after this and i was really amazed um, so yeah, this is pretty much it for me today guys. I'm just using the remainder of the aloe vera gel that I had left in my container and I'm just sort of applying that to, you know, my edges and basically some other areas of my hair. Um, so yeah, nice and simple. This is it for me today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed watching today's video and if you made it to the end of the video, I mean yo ag thank you so much i really appreciate you so yeah this is pretty much it don't forget to thumbs up you know if you like the video share with your friend your family anyone you believe could benefit from this video and also subscribe to the channel if you're not already and i will catch you in my next video which will be very soon i also forgot forgot to say leave me a comment okay guys so see you next time bye